are without the answers and don't know which way to go. The answer the answers have been here the whole, we, we, we figure out, you know what, I'm going to go to school, I'll go to college, I'll get a degree, I'll be all right. I get a nine to five, oh, I, I'll do the, I, I get a nine to five, I'll be good. I'll push some drugs, I'll be all right. I'll do this and I'll do that. And we end up in the same place, we end up with the same result, which is failure, man. Failure, why? Because we do not move as a nation. We do not move as a nation at all. We move as slaves in America, man. And until and, and until we take our until we take our culture and our heart from our enemy, then we can move together. Now that does not mean violence. That don't mean violence at all. But what that means is, if a person is harming your people as a whole and harming your race, then you have to separate from them, man. Meaning what? Not celebrating their holidays, man. Not treating them as a friend. And, uh, and, uh, and knowing and keeping in your mind that these people do not care and, do, and, do not, and, do, and does not care about your life. They don't care. They don't care about your livelihood, man. We are destroyed by America. We are destroyed by, their, their, we're destroyed by Christianity. Oh we're destroyed from their religion, man. Give me Colossians 2 and 8. We just out here all destroyed. And don't know how life's going to change. But life will change. One, I'll, I'll show you how life will change. If we want to end police brutality, if we want to end the struggle in the black neighborhood, if we want to end poverty, if you if if, if you if you want if you want if you're a black man and you want a woman, if you're a black woman and you're tired of being single, the answer is here in the Bible too. Keep your thumb on that. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 1. I give you the scripture, man. It's one, this, this is crazy. One verse to change our lives tomorrow. Really to change our life and to change our lives in one second. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. We got to listen up and open our ears. And we got to follow God's law diligently, man. Go ahead. To observe and to do all the commandments. We got to observe and do all the commandments that change our life. Every, every, everybody upset because Young Thug and Rico and uh, Gunner got the Rico charge. We upset because Juice World died and Pop Smoke died and everybody else died. We upset. Well, guess what? All that can change if we follow the commandments. If you don't, if, it, if it's simple. If we do not want to be locked up, and, and I, we don't want our fathers to get life sentences in jail. If you're tired of your baby dad getting locked up, and he's tired of getting locked up, let's follow the commandments of God. And let's leave the culture of America alone. Because America has taught us how to be criminals. America has taught us how to, de how to deal with drugs and deal with everything else. And it's all a setup. It's all a trap. You sell drugs and you, you sell drugs until you get enough money, until you make enough noise, and then the FBI is coming in down on you, and you're done. You're done on a RICO charge or whatever charges you get. It's a setup. They're already watching us. They're watching us on Instagram and Snapchat, and they listen to the phone calls and watching your text messages, man. They're watching, you do, they're watching us through Facebook. It's a setup. So why not leave the white man's drug game alone and follow God? Go ahead and read. To observe and to do all his commandments. Why do I say the white man's drug game? Why, 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 did, I, why did I do not say the black man's drug game? Because the drug game is not original, originally our culture. But it's the business that America pushed in the black community. How, how do I know that? How do I say that? Because black people don't go over to Nicaragua to get drugs. The white man does. Black men don't go over and go and go over. We don't we don't own any poppy fields. We don't we don't go and get the heroin and the uh, the opioids and all the drugs the CIA does. The white man does and brings it right on over here. There, there, there was a ship owned by J.P. Morgan 
that about 200 kilos of coke on that ship. That if the, who, who owns the ship here? Any Negroes? Nah. No, it's America. America's drinking, bringing the drugs over here, and they're going to end up in a black community, man. And we must escape from that culture. We must escape from the culture of the white woman, the white woman wanting to be free. She don't. She 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 can't protest like black people. So now she got to try to trick black women into helping her protest and protest her freedom because she wants to be a filthy whore. Let the white woman in Marilyn Monroe and all the next ones after that Lady Gaga, whoever else the next is the next white whore. Let them be whores. If they want their freedom, let them have it. Let them be free to show their behind and their breasts. Black woman, that ain't you. You are a princess, man. That's not your culture to walk down the street like a damn prostitute and then get upset if somebody treats you like a tool for sex. You're going to be treated like you're going to be treated like a tool for sex if you're walking around wanting to look sexy and reveal yourself. And everybody, and, and listen, you're leaving nothing to nobody's imagination. But it ain't your fault. You learned it from America, and I and God and listen, the priest, the priest of the Lord is going to tell you that's not black culture. Yeah, I, I know it seems like it today because we've been whole, we've been we've been taught to be holes for a long time now, for about a half a century. It's not our culture to be whole. Not at all. Go ahead and read from the top. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse one. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. Will set what? Will set thee on high. If we obey God, God will set us on high. Who's on high right now? The people who run the, who run the world. The, people, the, the man in the White House is, uh, is on high. The people in the Capitol are on high. The people who are in the Supreme Court are on high. Are we in there making decisions for our, for, for our nation? Hell no. We not. Kim Jong-un is on high. Vladimir Putin, he's on high. And America sees it. He's over there doing his thing and trying to take over Ukraine. He's on high. What we on? We just high as hell. That's what we on. Go ahead. Above all nations of the of the earth. But black man, our life will change tomorrow. Latino man, your life will change tomorrow if you obey God. Then you will be in the same seat and above as Vladimir Putin. You will be in the, you will be in the same seat as a you will be in the same seat as a president. And Christ, the black man, will be the leader. That's right. He'll be the number one head. It ain't, it's not a democracy with God. God don't, God don't have democracy. It ain't too many chances when, every, when everybody gets a chance, rather you're clean or filthy, rather you're straight or gay, everything is equal. No, nah, not in God's kingdom, not in God's world. There's a yes and there's a no. There's a right and there's a wrong. But in, but in America, there's confusion. You don't know what's right and what's wrong. And black men, that's why we die. That's why we have no protection in America. Because we can't understand what's right and what's wrong. Give me a Colossians 2 and 8. Go ahead and read. Read. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Wait a minute. We're, the, we're, we're spoiled. What's another word for that? Destroy. Your castle has been burned down. Your house been taken over. Now you don't own anything. We have been destroyed by what? By guns? By what? Through philosophy. We destroyed by, through who? Through philosophy. Christianity. Philosophy. Islam. Philosophy. Hindu. Philosophy. Black man, we destroyed through philosophy. Right. You are, the, we are destroyed through white Jesus, man. That's why every other nation can be attacked and want, and, and want to defend themselves. That's why, that's why, and that's why America can be attacked by another nation and they'll want to defend themselves. Black men, when you are attacked, you are told to be quiet, to sing kumbaya and sing a song and to forgive that person. But no other race does. No other, America's not required to forgive. Russia's not required to forgive. Japan and China are not required to forgive. But the black man, you are required to forgive even when you're wrongfully um, 
we wrongfully murdered. And we have been treated wrong in America for 400 plus years and have not received any justice at all. At all. That's because we are destroyed by what? Philosophy! We are destroyed through, through philosophy. This culture in America is sick, is, 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 crippling black, is crippling black and Latinos and the American Indians. The American culture cripples us. It destroys our spirit. That's why, the, that's, why, that's why us as black men, we don't know how to be strong and stand up for something. Black men are supposed to stand up and, and listen, the mass shooting that the mass shooting that just happened in, in New York, Buffalo, in Buffalo, New York, when that sick white boy went to the went to the grocery store and shot them black people, had had we if we if we are if had we had the right mindset, we would know by now that our communities have to be protected. We'll know that. We 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 know we'll know we we'll, 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 we would know that we will have to go to America and get an agreement that we have gates around our communities and that we have our people protecting our communities and that means being equipped with a gun. That means being equipped with protection. Our, our, our people are so destroyed. I, I looked at other I looked at other black men's uh, podcast this week. On the, issue of the, on the issue of the mass shooting that happened in, in Buffalo, New York. And a lot of our black men, we've been made weak in America. We were, on, we were on the internet on YouTube saying that we need to get rid of gun laws. We need to get rid of gun laws. Listen, them guns ain't going nowhere. What we got to do is arm up. Christ told us to get a sword. We got to load up, and guess what? I'm not saying go and now attack a white community. But we have to protect ours. We have to defend our people. There should be no way that, a, that an enemy can walk into a grocery store and kill all of our people like that. There should be no way any, any person can walk up there and just shoot up a neighborhood, a building. And then guess what? He gets, and guess what? He gets the best treatment when he's arrested and walked out. He politely and soft, they softly put the cuffs, put his head behind his back. They softly uh, put the um, cuffs on his on his wrist. They make sure it's not too tight. They make sure he ducks his head when he gets in the car. But I thought Donald Trump said treat uh, criminals. You know what I'm saying? Be rough with them. Donald Trump said, if they, listen, don't 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 worry about putting your hand over their head. Let them hit their head and on a cop. He want to talk about white criminals because those are his brothers. Those are people. He was talking about us. We are in the wrong culture, and that's why we destroy. That's why we're separated. Christianity cannot help you. Islam won't help you. And I know, I know you. I know you're confused because right now this brother's holding up the Bible, and we're reading God's words. But God ain't tell us to be a Christian. God never told us to be. Never, never told us to be a Muslim. God said, "Thou shalt not steal." God said, don't have sex with another man's wife. God said, don't murder a brother. The Lord, God said, don't be jealous of your brother. The Lord gave us laws. That's what the brother gave. He, the, brother, the brother just gave us, God, the, God gave us laws to follow. That's what we need. We have no order in a black community. You know why? Because there's no, there's no laws. No laws at all. If we follow these laws, Domestic violence will go away. If we follow these laws, there'll be no more single black women. There'll be no more men getting kicked out of their house if we follow these laws. Because we would know what it is to be a family and how important it is to be a family. And how much America wants black people to separate and want the black man out of his household. It's done by design. It is done by design. A black, a black woman signs up for government assistance. America says, yes, I'll give you the assistance, but you gotta be single. That man, that black man cannot be in your household if you get food stamps. That black man cannot be in your household if you get tanner. That's the, that, that's the deal with America, man. Go ahead, we're gonna talk. Colossians chapter two, verse eight. 
Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Through philosophy and vain deceit. Vain deceit, man. Vain deceit. Whereas though, whereas though we, live, we live in America and think we're free and think we have equal opportunity, but every day a black person, Latino person's heart is broken because we see we do not have equal opportunity. When you go, when you go apply for a business, a business loan, they make it hard for black people to get a loan. They have, they have, they have the statistics and on Google showing, showing how many black children showing the high percentage of black people being denied for a business loan and a, and a, and a loan to get a house. But if you're Caucasian, you walk into a bank, you walk into a bank for a loan for a house or for a small business, you're granted. Approved. That's what it says if you're Caucasian. You're black, denied. And it's done by design. Read. After the traditions of men, and after these other after these natural traditions, after these men, man. Christmas is Christmas is a disgusting tradition done by heathens, man. Black man, you want and if I, I listen, it is Christmas is not a part of black culture. Valentine's Day is not a black, is not a part of black culture. Easter is not a part of black culture, man. Not at all. We have holidays in the Bible, that's for us. Passover, the feast of first fruits, the, the, the day of atonement, man. Those days, those are the holiday, high holy days for our culture and for our people. But we don't know that, man. Three boys, read from top. Colossians chapter two, verse eight. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. We are destroyed through vain, through vain deceit. We are destroyed through vain deceit. I tell you, I tell you another, I tell you another deception, man. Black man. God said you can have more than one woman. Did you know that? Did you know that you can have more than one woman? The Lord said you can have more than one wife. But here in America. You have, you have, we have our testicles cut off. And if, and if you, and if you go get another woman, your, your first, your other, your first woman hates you. She hates you because you're a cheater, because you're a dog. When cheating is not in the black man's vocabulary, you can't cheat. You can't. A black man cannot cheat, according to God. You can't. You, you, you can mess with whores. You can mess with prostitutes, and that is, a, that is evil and innocent. But it comes to a, but it comes to a man. You got two baby mothers. Those both those women if they if they did not have sex with another man, those men, I mean those two women are your wives, and you take care of them. That's all that is. I know it's a big heartbreak when that when you find out your man got another woman. It's fine. It's all it's all, it's all fine. It's a part of his culture. That's why that's why he can't stop. You just can't figure out why, 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 man, why black man, he, he won't stop messing with another woman. It's in his blood. It's his God-given right. But America has destroyed the black woman and destroyed the Latino woman by giving her a license and thinking that she can go to hell off if, a, if, if her man get another woman. She thinks she has license to cut his shoestrings, bleach his clothes, break his car window, set it on fire, just go ballistic and go nut crazy, nut so psycho crazy. On him if he gets another woman. It's all ridiculous, and we learned that from America. And America is our enemy. Give me Hosea four or six. We're gonna learn our culture today. We're gonna learn our culture today, man. We need to be healed as a people. And, they, and they, listen, it's not money first. It's our morals first. We have to fix our morals and the way we live. We got to fix our lifestyles. Your lifestyle is wrong. Your lifestyle is all the way, our lifestyles are all the way wrong. And that's why we can't get it together. Go ahead. Jose, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. The Lord said we are destroyed for what? For lack of knowledge. Now black people destroyed because they don't got enough money. For lack 
of knowledge. We destroy it for lack of knowledge. We have to, we don't, we don't know what the hell to do with ourselves. You know why? America came and took their slaves and, and stripped us of our culture. And stripped us of our, of our, of our holy. I roll with warriors and them garments be looking glorious Feel like 20 sets of fists hitting you but it's four of us They always scream squad but loyalty just mean more to us Let the 40s bust when it's time unleash the hunters I done seen stand up niggas turn into runners Niggas with weak right hooks turn into gunners Soldiers in abundance marching in by the hundreds We don't hold no punches we letting them go in bunches Crawled up out the dungeons and now we do it humongous Waiting on a hater to flex we doing lunges Rappers better give me respect, this be punished Really I don't worry about credit or where it's due Just know your favorite rapper told it I'm number two Camp full of animals like I'm running the zoo Call me Tyler Warhol, either call me the Jew Shit, you can call me the king, I'm ready to rule Only sharks swim here, rappers get out the pool Only real spitters can wait in this type of water A renaissance coming, we cutting your time shorter 